Hey everybody, it is Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the one and only Steenroller free play of the day. As always, if you're having a little fun digging what we're doing, we'd appreciate it if you give us the thumbs up here. Give everybody a chance to do it at the beginning of the video on my count. Let's go. Three, two, one. Smash that like button. Very good. Hit that thumb. Nicely done, everybody. Appreciate it. Um, and hey, if you haven't done so already, we would love if you consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Just click the bell, get notified each and every time we put up brand new content. And of course, for all your handicapping needs, don't forget to stop by the one and only winnersandwiners.com. Deep dives into every game every single day. Winnersandwiners.com. Always there for you. Always free. And uh, last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we want to know what you're playing today, man. we got three juicy playoff games. Got some basketball going on, soccer, whatever it is. You got to play. Put it in the comment section. You get them right, we'll give you the shout out. Get enough of them right, you will be the capper of the day. All right, guys, quick recap of yesterday. Uh, turned our fortunes around a little bit. Had Toledo to take care of business, and they certainly did against a uh, struggling Ohio Bobcats team. Uh, rare walk rocking chair win, but we'll take it. So let's go on and uh, take a look at the action for today. Uh, taking a look in the NFL playoffs, NFC style, as the Buccaneers... Travel to our nation's capital to take on the Washington football team. Washington is the eight-point underdog here. You know what? I'm going to take the points. Uh, Chase Young and this Washington pass rush is the real deal. Uh, and, of course, the right, way to beat Tom Brady, we've talked about it this season, it's to uh, pressure him, hit him, force him into making mistakes. Tampa Bay is 1-4 when turning it over multiple times. When they turn it over one or no times, 10-0, baby. Uh, now, the good news is, Washington's forced multiple turnovers five of their last seven games. Uh, they have to be able to run the ball just a little bit to take the pressure off what will likely be a uh, hobbled Alex Smith. I do think Alex will make the start here. I don't think he's going to pass up this opportunity to play the playoffs. Uh, Washington, on their defensive side, they need to uh, stop the run. Need to slow down Ronald Jones, make Tampa Bay throw the ball. That's where they're going to be at their best. You know what? I think Washington forces a couple turnovers here to keep Tampa Bay from stretching the lead. I think they grind out enough scores to keep it close. Give me the Washington football team plus eight points at the end of that one. You guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right. Uh, you know how I did. Let's see how everybody did today. Not a bad day. Vegas J went 1-0 plus 100. Nathan Cerna, 1-0 plus 100. Mark Metcalf, 1-0 plus 100. Francisco Hernandez goes 2-1 plus 90. Stude Aardvark goes 2-2 two two with one canceled. He got juiced. Uh, Christopher Martin goes 2-2. Two two. He got juiced. W.J. Roberts, 1-0, and plus 100. And Jason M., 3-2, plus 80. But your capper of the day, he uh, had actually had a play carryover from yesterday. Uh, the game wasn't played till today, and he did a nice job. C-Dub going 5-1 on the day, plus 390. Hey, man, congratulations, C-Dub. Once again, you are the capper of the day. Well done. Well done to the rest of you. Hey, man, it's uh, NFL time, one of my favorite weekends of the year, and now we even got an extra game each day. So let's go out there and have a little fun, watch a little football, and uh, see if we can make a little money. All right, we'll be back tomorrow to talk all about it. You guys take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.